Hey, what's up, Sea Maniac Nation? Sea Man! Sort of fresh out the theater. I did like my normal one minute bit right out the theater. I got into the car to convince mom to do the review in the car, and she's on the phone with dad. So I said, all right, we'll come home first, and we'll do a little fresh out the theater, Sea Man, and my number one Sea Maniac, my mom. Um, we are fresh, sort of, out of the theater after seeing The Fall Guy. Um, I know this is not the movie that you wanted to have be a review for such a long time in between Elvis. We haven't done one since then. <laughs> Probably wanted Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, but I saw that on a screen unseen. So I said, as a makeup, hey, Mom, there's a fan screening of The Fall Guy. You want to come with? She said yes. So she came to rep my guy, Ken, Ryan Gosling. But... People know what I think. So the real question is, Mom, the other, the, the C, the C Woman, right? Like yeah. her, her name's Cheryl, so also a C. So the C Woman, what did you think of the Fall Guy? I think it was very fun. I loved, uh, well, we just all love Ryan Gosling. Uh, and uh, I love that the movie has its own story, a little love story written in there with all the action, lots of action. And it pays homage to all the great stuntmen out there who never get any credit for their hard work. So I love that Gosling pays homage to them. They pay homage to them during the movie and it was just great. It was fun, it was action filled and there was so many stunts and Ryan Gosling, little spoiler, there's a lot of broken glass, let's just say that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is far and away one of the funniest scenes, which is another thing this movie does great. The comedy in this film, start to finish is just tremendous like it is a flat out action comedy but like mom said like it's also a rom-com and i think gosling's chemistry with emily blunt oh, is absolutely so phenomenal i think emily blunt in general is always phenomenal yeah. and she is here and the other thing that i like about the movie is almost like a this fourth wall break edge where you're in a movie filming a movie right. and with Blunt being the director, you get to see like some of the behind the scenes types of things, like what a, what what kind of conversations a director has with a stuntman or a stunt coordinator or an actor. Um, there's a really really funny conversation, uh, like right early on in the beginning of the movie between her and Gosling, and like it just kind of gives you the idea of how things happen on set. A little bit of a sneak peek, like behind the curtain, so to speak. And then yeah, like all the homages to stuntmen, like what I, I had said to my mom coming out of the theater was like it was so cool to see a big traditional blockbuster action movie but every piece of action that leech lays into the movie whether it's combat hand-to-hand -hand choreography a big chase sequence a massive explosion every one of them highlights a different thing that a stuntman would do in a movie and that's the thing i think i love about this movie more than anything else is that it's just a massive love letter to stuntmen yeah. stunt choreographers anybody that has worked in stunts and that's the other thing that's really cool with the movie is like david leach is the director and he is a former stuntman he is chad stahelski's partner at 87 north productions a, a pair of stuntmen who created a production company that are turning out some of the best action movies in the world and while you know you got stahelski doing all of the best john wick combat gun action that you can see in the business right now leach continues to bring that traditional style of action and it just fills the screen up wonderfully and to blend it with a rom-com i just thought was so cool uh the score is really solid like it, it definitely picks up in certain moments accents some of the comedy and the blending of comedy and action right. with some of the scoring is great but the other thing that this thing has is a phenomenal soundtrack the amount of needle oh, drops God. in this movie and how they sync up with the action that's something that leech has always been very good at and absolutely crushed it and then i think the last thing that we'll say just for this little quick review is it's a spoiler i guess but at the end of the movie when the credits are rolling instead of getting like you know a traditional blockbuster like gag reel we get a stuntman reel where we get to see like the camera behind the camera that's shooting the stunt scenes so, like there are moments where you're seeing gosling and a stuntman together you're seeing gosling do some of the big stunt mm -hmm. pieces there's this one crazy chase sequence that involves like a dumpster there's so many sparks and visual effect cgi things happening i couldn't tell if it was on a blue screen or on a green screen or if it was real and this thing shows you all the stunts that ryan does but then the stunts that he doesn't do when he tags in his stunt doubles we get to see them and the fact that one of his stunt doubles set a world record with eight and a half rolls on a cannon roll 
is tremendous. And not only do you get it in the movie, but then during that little reel, you get to see like the full thing from all the different camera angles. It's so cool. And it's just, I just love how much they are showing their love to big time blockbuster action films and the stuntmen that do it. And there are some nice surprises in there uh, for people who like are into stunts and stuff like that. But yeah, this is just a massive love letter to that part of the the film world that never gets recognized and, and they gave a little a little nod that they don't get recognized by the academy award which they should spoilers <laughs> mother that's a little I, but no a little there, there's a lot there's a lot of cool like some of the humor and how it plays into like the peek behind the curtain type stuff and like Gosling is voicing over the movie a lot which is something I always love because it's a comic book thing but it works so wonderfully and then like in the same way almost acts like as like a double entendre because you're talking about oh man like the big hollywood stars that take all the 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 face and, and you know we're the guys that do all the work behind the scenes and that's literally what happens throughout the whole movie which is why that kind of reel at the end that kind of shows those guys there doing these big stunts making memorable world record setting moments like it's just really cool and i i commend gosling a lot like he's talked about his fear of heights and his fall for fall guy is big um, but I appreciate how much he was willing to do. And that's the thing that's cool when you work with people like Leach or Stahelski or people who are big time stunt people, like these guys are starting to kind of want to do more. And it's re really fun. Uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson is in this movie. He's fun. Um, I love when he's playing like, uh, jackass we'll say <laughs> he's very good at it Hanning Waddington also really really good um, another one who can walk that line really well and it's fun to watch her do stuff like that so yeah all, all in all I, mean, I absolutely had some badass moments as well she did Blunt definitely did some of her she own choreography they do have some moments in that, that reel with her and her stunt doubles so like it, it's it's always cool to see everybody commit to those types of things and you get a lot of that so if you like those big type of action movies you want a fun summer blockbuster popcorn flick this is it but it's also a great date night movie um even if date night is with mom like because it's a rom-com so there's there's things in there for the women blunt being front and center and involved in everything that's going Ryan on stunt gosling is in well there. okay i guess the women i guess need. i guess that's the other you thing don't need the uh, love story. <laughs> i'm usually here for ryan gosling myself but you know i mean i'm also here for emily blunt and their chemistry they just have a lot of fun yeah, so that was really fun i'll shut up mom's shut up uh I'm not going to give my score because I'm going to do a full review that will probably be a little spoilery back at the desk. Um, but, hey, how about you give a score? Let's get the Sea Maniacs oh up. Mom, goodness. what are you saying? What, 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 what was popping? What was working? What's your score out of five? I don't know. I almost would have to say I, I haven't been to a big movie like this in a while, so this was really fun. I, oh, five is – I'd love to give, I, give it a five. I'll do four and a half. Ooh, four and a it half really for the really Sea Wool Man. I really, really enjoyed it. Right there, you heard it. That that came from her, not from me, guys. I usually throw out big scores on, on silly, fun movies like this all the time because I love this type of action. That came from the Sea Woman, so you heard it here first. Four and a half for Mom. You guys can find out about mine when I talk spoilers later on this week. Uh, but, yeah, that's it. That's all we got for the Fall Guys, so we're going to shut up. Flip it over to you guys. What are you thinking? Have you had a chance to see it tonight? It was a fan screening for us, so we got a little early access. Drops tomorrow for previews, and then obviously Friday is the real day. Uh, but when are you going to see it? If you haven't, um, what's working? What's not? Good, bad, indifferent on the fall guy. Put it down below in the comment section. Look forward to talking to you down there. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and give mom a thumbs up. And until... Uh, and then, no, not until next time, but if you enjoy all this stuff, you like crazy riffing like this, I, I don't understand why she endorses me so much. But if you are also oh, digging God. that, come be a Sea Maniac <laughs> like mom. Jump over there, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell if you want those alerts, and until next time for the Sea Man's Cinema, sit down. That's been mom. I've been the Sea Man. We are signing off. Peace. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Sea Maniac Nation? Winter Ken here, where we grow out our roots and our beard, letting you know that you can see some new Sea Man videos right up here and right down here. And if you want all those videos and show that man a little love and support, come join Sea Maniac Nation right over there, and the Sea Man will catch you on the next one.